and, and it's not only it's not only unique to North Carolina, but as I travel around the you know different different states, Common Core is a big um, it's a hot potato, and it should not be a, a hot potato. And the reason for that is because uh, it you know I mean most people know it. it came about in 2009, National Governors Association, Association some other organizations. Uh, and at the time, it was the Republican governors. Uh, my governor of, of, of Georgia, Sonny Perdue, was the, the chair at the time. So they wanted America and our public education system to be uh, competitive uh, from, a, from an international standpoint. And basically, over the last couple of years, it has been highly politicized. And education should not be highly politicized because it is a public good. So we've seen, not only in North Carolina, but around the country, we've seen uh, an attempt to privatize education. Uh, but again, it, education should be a matter of a public good because 90% of our students uh, in America attend public schools. Well, you have a lot of military in the state. I'm a retired military, 21 years. Uh, my kids went to eight different schools across six different states. And in some states, uh, my wife is an educator, we had to supplement our children's education because the school system was not up to par as some other states. So uh, that is what Common Core does. It has a consistent standard. So if you're learning Shakespeare, Shakespeare in 11th grade in Michigan, you learn it at, in North Carolina. So there's a base when you go off to college. In a lot of states, you have like a 30 percent remediation rate mm -hmm. of students graduating from high school. So this, the Common Core standards will help us eliminate that. Now, logically, when you implement a, when you implement a, 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 a new system or program, you have to give it time uh, to see the results. Uh, and I'll give you an example. One of the better states that have done a very good job of uh, rolling Common Core out is Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was endorsed. They had a great communication plan. And when they rolled it out, things are going well. Now, when they did the assessment, uh, they communicated, you know, the, the test scores are going to go down because of the, you know, rigor and, and, and uh, just starting uh, the program, but it will continue to improve. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you an example with Common Core. He here's the, I think, one of the nuances that people miss. Uh, it's been in place now for about three, you know, three or four years in most states. Uh, in first grade, uh, like one of the standards is that you, uh, a, kid, uh, a child should be able to count to 100, okay? Uh, if they're going to be competitive. How the state does that, and, and we're very specific in the Common Core State Initiative, that's determined by your school district. And that's one of the arguments that people try to use to say it's the federal government trying to take over education, and that's not true. It's a state initiative.